So yesterday I didn't get to show you the storm, so um, I caught it today. So good morning from the rainy, rainy sunshine state. Oh, it stopped raining as soon as I went outside. What the heck? It really was just raining, I swear. You can see there's proof on the ground. It was like a five minute shower. Oh, Florida. Oh, bandit. I caught it. Haha, <laughs> rain. You sucker, you thought that I wasn't gonna get you, but I did. So there it is. There's the rain. It's been like this on and off all day. It'll rain for probably half an hour and then it'll be sunny again, so. No pool for me, I guess. I love the rain, but Bandit on the other hand does not. He sits by the toilet when it rains. I don't know why he chooses the toilet, but this is like his safe place, is right here in the bathroom. You okay, my bean? Bandit, you okay? You're okay. All right, so I'm making Tim's lunch for the next couple of days. I'm making my lunch for today. I'm just gonna have peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But I'm also catching up on catfish. I don't know if you guys know this, but you can watch new episodes of catfish on mtv.com. So that's what I've been doing. And while I was doing that, the sky opened up again. It stopped raining for a while and then, holy cow, hurricane. What the heck? I don't know what we're gonna do tonight. I mean, the weather is crazy. Everything looks so green though. Like, look how vibrant all the, the colors are. Wow. Oh man, that's like the only positive thing I can say about the rain, is that all the grass is green. Oh no. And Bandit is still not a fan of the rain and the thunder, so he's wagging his tail, that's good. But he's been in the bathroom for a little bit. And then I, um, brought his little bed out here so that he would have something to lay on while I'm doing stuff in the kitchen because he wants to be right next to me, so. You okay, my bean? You gonna stay right here with me? Okay, we're gonna have a doggy date. I'm okay with that. So this is my peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and I know I've said this a few times, but cutting your sandwich, oh no, I'm about to drip peanut butter all over myself. But cutting your sandwich in a triangle, this used to be a triangle before I ate some of it, makes it taste more delicious, it's a proven fact. Also, somebody left a comment saying that peanut butter and jelly is not something normally, is not a sandwich that's normally eaten in the UK or in England or something, I believe. And um, why? I'm confused by that. Why wouldn't you eat peanut butter and jelly? I don't know, can somebody explain it to me? Because I love it. You guys, look who's on the commercial for St. Ives. Motion spray. Woo! Grace Helbig. Hey guys, so I am. That's awesome. Speaking of YouTubers being in magazines, that's a YouTuber on my TV screen. Well, it's not really a TV, but it's kind of a TV. But it's still really awesome. I think that's great. It finally stopped raining. I feel like this whole vlog is a weather update and I'm sorry that it's not very exciting today. Um, I do wanna be honest with you guys though. I think that I'm going to, um, I, I've been having kind of a rough day. I invited my friend over to kind of like talk and hang out and maybe do like a little girls night, um, go get some Chinese food or watch a movie or something. I've just been having kind of a rough time since Mother's Day and some of you guys may know if you've watched the vlogs um, for I think last year I might have told you guys or the year before that my mother passed away and it was before we started vlogging um, but it's still something that is tough to deal with on Mother's Day and um, I don't know. So I haven't really had a chance to deal with it. And uh, so yeah, so I think I'm gonna take the night off and so I think I'm gonna take the night off and just do me, I guess, just kind of like have me time um, and just maybe like talk to one of my friends. So sorry, <laughs> you know, this is like a weird thing to vlog about, but um, Tim will be home soon and hopefully he'll be much more excited than I am. Uh, but yeah, so boo, this is silly and I feel bad for, uh, I don't know, I just feel bad. So I will see you guys probably tomorrow, but thanks for watching the weather with me. That was pretty exciting. And, uh, and yeah, so, and I don't want to jinx myself by saying that tomorrow's vlog will be more exciting when I said that yesterday and look where we're at now. But uh, Tim will be home soon, and like I said, hopefully I'll be more excited. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, so we did go get Chinese food, and I just wanted to show you guys, because I thought this was really crazy. I ordered maybe uh, 
two entrees and four egg rolls, but I think that I ordered four sets of egg rolls because this is kind of like way more than I thought uh, was going to come in this box, actually. So <laughs> let's see what we got here. And then I feel bad. And then I feel bad because I asked her for more sweet and sour sauce for the egg rolls. Look at this. I did not realize that that was in there. I'm a sweet and sour glutton. And I think, I don't know what these are. It is four sets of egg rolls. Well, I'm excited. We're gonna eat 20 egg rolls. <laughs> All right, well they are, they're like little tiny spring, like the little tiny, um, I don't know what those are, spring rolls? Yes. Yeah, but that's, that's what's for dinner. I got, these are two egg rolls. They're like little tiny, tiny baby egg rolls. Shrimp fried rice, and I stole one of Tim's chickens. Don't tell, it's our secret. Happy Thursday, everybody, I'm home. We ate Chinese food. And we are going to watch Man of Steel now. I've got a limp because I worked too hard. Let's see what our fortune holds for us. I took the broken one because I'm a mess guy. <laughs> hear, I'm sorry there's weird screaming in the background. It's the beginning of Man of Steel. Russell Crowe is giving birth to Superman. They'll definitely remember all your efforts. Good. Friend Jen says they will be grateful that you cared enough to make it. Oh, that's nice. It was, I enjoy a good movie. Oh, there's a hair on the lens. Pay no attention to this. I enjoy a good movie every once in a while. Man of Steel was a pretty good movie. I enjoyed it. Uh, there was a lot of like gratuitous explosions that made no sense at all. Well, they made perfect sense to the to like the plot line, but I felt really bad for all the people of Metropolis because Superman's all like, "I'm fighting crime, yo!" and just like exploding buildings all over the place. Like, out of all of Metropolis, like 5,700 buildings fell over in one day. Uh, that pretty much, like, I don't know, wipes out the entire population of Metropolis. And then the next scene, after all the fighting's done, they're like, hey, we're back up and running. Let's do it, guys. No worries. No construction needed. I know, I know. It's just a movie, but still. This is the sort of things that I look at, and I'm like, hey, guys. Come on. Somebody should, like, at least reference this. Like, the next scene is a bunch of reconstructing while, you know, the rest of the movie plays on, or the movie ends, or whatever. That's what should have happened. But you guys should see Man of Steel. It was A-OK. -okay. Finally, oh, I just spent the last, like, I don't know, hour, maybe, finishing up. Remember how I was off doing that side job where we were painting? I had to, like, make up the bill just now. And I did it, and I'm done. And it feels good. But, uh, technology is not my friend. Even though it is, for the most part. But I just don't like it when word type products try to think for me and like auto format and I had just downloaded open office because I didn't have any on the laptop and I didn't want to go upstairs to type it and just started typing and then it's just like halfway through just started auto correcting stuff and I'm like god why that shouldn't be a function that's like already there it should just like you should have to turn that on if you want it but then I guess you wouldn't know how to turn it on if you didn't want it this seems like a catch-22 man I am ready for bed. I've been so tired this week. I've been working so hard. Oh, I just, I shouldn't complain though because work is good. Everybody needs work. So, uh, but essentially it's 10.30 at night and I have to go to bed. Wake up at 4 a.m. Yeah. So, I will see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price.